Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Well, folks, today we're in the presence of a Hall of Famer. That's right. This is the Ulysse Nordant Big Unit Chronograph, named after Major League Baseball all-time great pitcher Randy Johnson. Johnson, a longtime collector and fan of the Ulysse Nordant brand, got together with the company in 2012 for a completely out-of-the-blue collaboration Keep in mind, this is three years after his retirement, a completely out-of-the-blue collaboration on a branded watch designed to his taste. And he had a lot of hand in the design of this watch, so we'll get into that in a minute. But the fact is, although you don't generally associate chronograph watches with Major League Baseball, generally swimming, yes, horse racing, auto racing, even aerobatic aircraft, but baseball not so much. Ulysse Norden and Randy Johnson did a great job rendering this tastefully and incorporating the baseball themed elements subtly with just a little bit of a sense of ironic humor. So let's just talk about the basics first. This is about a 46 millimeter watch in diameter, uh, just short of 46. It wears like a 46, it looks like a 46. If you're six foot ten like Johnson, you want a big watch on your wrist and this one delivers. So if you like that style of an Hublot Big Bang or even a King Power, Audemars Piguet, Royal Oak Offshore 44, this big unit chronograph based on the Maxi Marine Diver case is for you. And there's a lot of unique aesthetic here. Johnson and Ulysse Norden really took that unconventional notion of a Major League Baseball themed chronograph and they continued to run with the concept of original content, original ideas, innovation that's just a little bit off-center, so to speak, out of the mainstream of the watch industry. This looks like it could be PVD. It looks like it could be ceramic. In fact, it's vulcanized rubber that completely coats the stainless steel case. And it's universal. The case back, short of the sapphire crystal, the pushers, the crown, the tops of the lugs, even the flanks of the bezel and the inserts between the rose gold elements of the bezel are black vulcanized rubber. It feels fantastic in the hand and on the wrist, and it complements the black of the strap very nicely. It's actually a perfect match, something that's very hard to do between a rubber strap and a PVD steel or ceramic case. So. Aesthetically, this watch is a standout, very well executed. Now, there's a matching matte black dial with contrasting, I'm going to say almost toroidal, sort of convex rings around the two sub-registers at 3 and 9 o'clock, and that pops. So those, were, those are the only reflective elements, reflective non-metallic elements on the dial, and there's a lot of interesting detail here because almost all of the baseball content is incorporated into the dial of the watch and it's subtle. You may not be able to see it, but there's a very small baseball counterweight to the seconds hand. The chronograph, which is running right now, has a seconds hand that's counterweighted by a little Major League Baseball. Right here on the sub dial at 6 o'clock, it says Big Unit Limited Edition. You can just barely see it, very subtle, doesn't read from arm's length. It's the kind of thing that's just there for those who are specifically fans of Randy Johnson, Ulysse Nordin, or both. And then right here, where you'd normally see 50 on the bezel, 51, in recognition of Johnson's signature number for most of his career, Yankee years accepted. So the bottom line is, this watch is done tastefully, and what could have been an outlandish celebrity athlete special edition actually turns into a rare feat among all limited editions, a truly original, somewhat understated, visually interesting, and memorable aesthetic effort. Good job, Johnson. Good job, Ulysse Norden. You did not overplay your hand. Now, aside from that, the watch has a lot of appealing elements functionally. It is water resistant to 200 meters, and that's more than you'll need for anything short of hardcore diving. It does have a unidirectional bezel, so unless you're going down in a bell, this should be good for just about any water sports you'd want to attempt. Now, the chronograph, well, it may not make much sense in a baseball context, is one of the most useful complications. And because this is the ETA 2892 in here with the Dubois de Praz chronograph module, you get a very crisp actuation. You get the vertical clutch start and stop, which is the smoothest, most traditional high horology way of engaging a chronograph. The bottom line is if you have what's known as a horizontal clutch, sometimes there's slip between the gears, there's play between the gears where they mesh to start and stop, and you'll see the hands on those watches jump, stagger, not reset perfectly. You don't have that with a vertical clutch. Dubois de Praz knows their stuff, and Yuli Snardin goes with the best. Now, the watch is very accurate. Again, it's a 2892, so I can't tell you how many of those things have been made in chronometer grade. Keeps perfect time, as good as any Rolex. Beyond that, Ulysse Norden decorates it with its own special 
Ulysse Nardin winding weight, and you have that sapphire case back to show off the works. It's a good looking movement, and it works just as well. Now, in terms of the dial detail, I'm just going to go back to this for a minute, because Johnson wanted highlights, not bling, and he got it. With rose gold elements being the primary reflective elements here, with the exception of those sub-registers and their glossy chapter rings, and so it reads quite elegantly. I would actually say that for a 46 millimeter sports chronograph, this is about as close as you can get to a dress appropriate watch. Now, the bracelet is just as appealing and thematically focused as the case, the bezel, and the dial. Black natural rubber, there's a titanium deployant clasp right here. It's a double deployant with a trigger release. I really like that because unlike a friction snap, it means you actually have to positively opt to unbuckle it. Just a little bit more security. I feel it's a higher quality mechanism. I feel it's the better way to put a deployant strap together. Um, you know, there are other companies that don't do that. They work fine, but the bottom line is for me, if you're buying a luxury watch, you want to optimize, and a trigger does that. In addition, there are ceramic elements. They're right here coated with what's known as the factory dental tape, and that's because this watch has just returned from factory service. That's right, this watch has just come back from Laloque, Switzerland. Ulysse Nordin has seen to the servicing of the chronograph and the base movement, which means that this watch also carries a year of manufacturer warranty on all the work performed. And in addition to that warranty certificate, when you buy this watch from watchyouwant.com, the Ulysse Nordin Big Unit Chronograph comes with Big Unit themed boxed set and accessories, including an official Major League Baseball autographed by the Randy Johnson. That's right, if you're a collector of Ulysse Nordin, buy this watch, you immediately become a collector of baseball memorabilia. It's a fantastic boxed set, very thoroughly realized. It's not just a box and a ball. The whole thing is baseball themed. If you're a fan of Major League Baseball, if you're a fan of Randy Johnson, if you're a fan of Ulysse Nordin, and you just want to add something a little bit unconventional to your collection, something that's a bit, oh, I don't know, out of left field, one might say, Consider this Ulysse Nordin big unit chronograph, one of only 100 made, just returned from factory service with full box papers and accessories. And Randy, if you're out there and for whatever reason you want to add to your stockpile, call us. We just might have the watch you want.